another video on Python. Uh, so today we're going to talk about we're going to talk about conditional statement. Um, yeah. So um, before we begin, I want to talk about first uh, logic statement. So recall in math that uh, you learn something like um, a lesson. Uh, greater than equal uh, less than or equal to or and um, greater than or equal to so you should be learning uh, this in mass if you never learned don't be worried um, we'll talk about, we'll just briefly talk about this since it's really basic. Um, so what does less than mean? It's like one less than two, and then two greater than one, two equals to two, two less than or equal to two, one, I mean three. Uh, three is greater than or equal to two. Yeah, so that's the basic. It's called logic statement. And then, oh yeah, one more is not equal to. So in program, not equal to usually not represent by exclamation mark. So it's not equal to, or we can say two, it's not equal to three. Not two is not equal to two. All right, yep. So, all right, so let's talk about a scenario. So suppose, that you want to write a program that reminds you to bring a uh, umbrella when it's raining. Okay, I don't know why I want to run this program, but yeah. So how should I do that? Well, we can try to implement that using a conditional statement, which conditional statements is made made by a bunch of if. Uh, if and else. We're gonna talk about them, each of them, really quick. But for now, we'll try to ask. Here's our goal for the program. So we're gonna ask user was it raining or not for today. And if it is raining, then go ahead and do. Um, we'll go ahead and then go ahead and print out a brain umbrella. That's all we'll do for this part. So can say um got a user input we, we can say this user input equals string input is the raining so what's happening here is input is just used to get a input from the user so you after i run this program like now you can see you can actually type here type commands here just to make it a little bit better just going out of space at the end it's raining, they can say yes, well, no response, right? Because we didn't implement the uh, logic part with the conditional statement. So we can implement that by using like if. So if user input and star, star just change the whole thing to a string so we can use it easier. So if user input equals equals yes, then let's just print out running umbrella. Yep, so that is it. So what's happening here is literally comparing. So if user input equals equals yes, means um, user's input is yes, and then just print out umbrella. By the way, you can also use is keyword. Um, but generally, I would prefer just to double equal sign. Uh, if you run this and if you type yes, it's going to say brain umbrella. And if you have no, it's going to say nothing. But I want to make this program behave better. So it's such in a work way that even if it's say not raining, then you, the program should say, okay, don't bring your umbrella or no need to bring your umbrella. So what we need to do is add another conditional statement. But since it's related to this one, we can use an L if. L if stands for else if. LCF. Um, so we can say LCF. So otherwise, if users 
um, input equals equals no and just print out don't bring umbrella if I can spell umbrella correctly and then if we run this program again is it raining it can say no it's not don't bring umbrella is it raining yes so bring umbrella yeah and then or we can also choose to use else so what that means is if neither of these circumstances or conditions doesn't met, then go ahead and do the else part, where we can say print, um, you know, let's just say print out, print out, sorry, I don't understand. So if we run this program again, there's a raining, you can type yes, is a brain umbrella? Is it raining? I can say uh, no. So don't bring umbrella if I say IDK. I don't know. It says sorry, I don't understand. Alright. But to make this program better, okay. To make this program better, what we'll do is we will actually turn all of them to lowercase. So it's going to happen is if user types all copy us, it's going to start to understand. That's just a little bit ridiculous uh, because it means same thing as yes. So we're going to use lower. If I remember correctly, that should how you use it, right? Dot lower. Let me double check. Turn to copy. Yep. So it should be this, and then if we run this commands again, is it raining? Yes. Yep. So this change them to lowercase, which is going to some case going to help us if it's not like that strict. But what if I don't want to add to lower, and I want to check both uppercase and lowercase? Well, in that case, you can use were and. So if user input equals that or users underscore input equals equals all copy us. Then go ahead and do the same thing. Right? Um or users input. Or if you are a little bit don't know English you can type and but it will result that this will never run because a string can ne never be in two format at the same time. Is it raining? Type yes, there's no way that you can run this program now. Sorry, I don't understand. Yeah. So, yeah, that's basically all we're going to talk about today. And then, mm, yes, yeah, thanks for watching. And then see you in next tutorial.